at the time are supposed to be telling you to do like not they're accusing you of being divisive right i might not agree with your with your example for with your blackface interpretation but i don't have to accuse you of being divisive they accuse you of being divisive you answer in a very particular way you say you don't want to unite with certain groups of people you remember that answer that you soft, gave up? soft people I sent you a message saying that you were making uh, career suicide. You're taking career suicide by doing blackface in 2021. To my knowledge, like I said before, you're the first person that has done this since the whole cancel culture situation started. Are you not afraid of the woke mob coming for Tyson James? No. <laughs> and for the people that didn't hear that, for the people in the back, my answer <laughs> is no, I'm not afraid of you. You could come after me all day long. You can make posts about me. I love it. I love all my haters. I'm not afraid. Listen, man, I knew that this was going to bring a little bit of hate. Yeah, yeah. You know? But like I said, I I am willing to lock arms with, with, with strong people. Yeah. Strong-minded people. We got to get over this cancel coaster. We got to get over everybody's triggered about something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I could literally dress up like Carl Malone and they're going to mm. call that blackface. J Jimmy Kimmel. I mean, I, yeah, I could literally dress up like one of my favorite people that is black. Yeah. And they'll call me racist for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, no, I'm not afraid at all. And in the description, I will never, um, I will never apologize. You'll never hear me. Uh, Tyson James come out. I am sorry for doing this. Please don't cancel me, right? Yeah, yeah. Because me personally, like I, I have no problem with that, to be honest. There's there's just an artistic expression. Obviously, everybody knows the historical context of blackface, but this is not this is not that. This is something nah, different. It's 2021, bro. This, this is, isn't this 19. is why Carl Malone, I mean not Carl Malone, Jimmy Kimmel did it. Um right. it's, it's just uh, art right and they're they're trying to portray something comedy um, we got comedy right i mean yeah it, it's funny because we were so past like uh racism in this country we were making fun of each other white people making fun of black people black people yeah, like in the 90s black people yeah black people making fun of white people everybody was cracking out each other comedians yeah. were it was just you know because um you know Cracking on each other is a is yeah. a form of acceptance. That means when 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 I start cracking on you, uh, Tyson, that means you I have accepted you into my circle, right? I mean that's just yeah. that's just part of the we were doing that before, yeah. and then Obama came along and everything. It seemed like we're now in in what Joe Biden is saying, a uh, Jim Crow 2.0, right? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy what you just said, man. We were we we invited people into our circle, man. Like mm -hmm. when you're cracking jokes with people, man, that just, that just breaks down the barriers. That just breaks down the walls. It's like, come on, man. Plain and laugh. simple, like, plain and simple. You, That's you it. can rag on me. I'm a laugh about it. I'll rag on you. We should laugh about it. And at the end of the day, we're boys, you know? That's, I mean, that's, that's, that's where we're at. Now, the question is why, why, why did you feel you had to do this? Um, I've always, I've said on my channel that I feel like, uh, the, the only race right now that is uh, being attacked racially in the United States of America right now and out in the open with uh, sometimes not a lot of condemnation from uh, media and people is the white race. White people are, yeah. are being attacked constantly for just the skin color of their skin. Yeah. Why? Why did you have to do this? Um. Well, I heard uh, Coca-Cola come out and mm -hmm. say that they were going to do some classes. Mm -hmm. about how to be less white right <laughs> and so i'm thinking in my okay i got this song all right how can i be less white <laughs> well gee the only way i can really truly be less white if i be less white <laughs> literally <laughs> so, like literally <laughs> literally so all i'm doing uh -huh. is doing what Coca-Cola is telling me to do. Okay. To be less white. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, all right, let me go just be less white then. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of just like throwing it back in their face. Look, I'm doing what you guys are telling me to do. Y'all, yeah. I mean, even just saying you need to be less white, that just sounds stupid. You should never <laughs> say that. That should never come out of somebody's mouth. Plain Try to be less black. Yeah, be yeah. less Mexican. Uh, hey, yeah. bro, you got to be less Puerto Rican, man. Yeah, yeah. You know? that, that's going to be a big big problem, right? I mean, big, huge problem. But <laughs> yeah. again, it's, it's I, I see it. It's acceptable when you do it uh, 
with the with the white race supposedly quote unquote yeah bro which, imagine if it, the tables were turned if i oh, told a black guy it, yo hey bro just be hey you need to be less black man yeah you yeah. know what i'm saying like that would be which is is crazy right because we, since we live in in a fairy tale world we cannot accept the differences that we have right they are yeah. clear cultural differences between the white people there are clear cultural differences with the black people. There are clear cultural differences with the Hispanics. They're, they're just clear cultural differences. We do things different. That doesn't mean uh, we have to hate each other for doing things different. It's just a cultural difference, plain and simple. And yeah. just, we just got to accept that, that we do things different. And there is absolutely no problem with the way our white people, with, with, with the way white people act. There's absolutely no problem with the way black people act there is absolutely no problem with the way hispanics act we act different we should be be able to call ourselves americans at the end of the day right yes i agree 100 percent, man it, it, it's crazy now i saw in instagram a comment that was accusing you already of being de divisive right because you don't uh i guess you don't you don't toe the line you don't go with the message the politically correct people at the time are supposed to be telling you to do like not they're accusing you of being divisive right i might not agree with your with your example for with your blackface interpretation but i don't have to accuse you of being divisive they accuse you of being divisive you answer in a very particular way you say you don't want to unite with certain groups of people you remember that answer that you soft, gave them? soft people yeah i but, don't want to unite with soft people man I want to unite with people that are strong, mm -hmm. people that have courage, people that can can take can take someone calling them whatever you want to call me and just smile it off and it's okay. <laughs> it's worse. You have an opinion. Listen, if I were to get mad at these people mm -hmm. for calling me this racist and all this, hey, ah, I'm doing exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. My thing is. Bro, you can have your opinion about me. I'll just laugh it off. I'm cool. You want to say that I'm racist or you want to say that I'm a bigot, I'm, I'm a homophobe and all this stuff. It literally doesn't bother me at all. I don't get triggered by it. I don't get yeah. triggered. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, like I said, I, I, but I, man, I'll lock arms with somebody that, that, that has a little bit of courage, man, that has a little bit of, Huevos, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I, at I the end of the day, I'm a man. Y'all can say yeah. what you want. I can lock arms with somebody like that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. So the people that think, oh, Tyson's just being divisive, you need to grow up and put a smile on your face. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just put just laugh about it. Come on. I I think as they say in the hood, real recognize real, right? Um yeah. we, we just had the passing of DMX, right? Which um it's very sad, right? But uh, yeah, I, sad, I, 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 I listened younger <laughs> against the counsel of my parents, even though we were Christian. I, I listened yeah, to a lot too. of hip hop. I listened to a lot of a lot of DMX. Me, me um, too, bro. And he would, in, in his later years, and even during his, his prime, he will bring up prayers and songs. He will bring yeah. up, um, he talking about Jesus and, and stuff yeah. like that, right? Um. But he was real. Like there was nothing. The way well, he the way he spoke, he spoke like a guy from the hood. You know how the hood is. The hood will yeah. tell you whatever the hood feels right then and there at that time, whether it's adequate, whether it's politically correct or not. They're gonna tell you. And that was DMX, right? DMX. There was no same thing with Donald Trump. Said there was no guessing behind. Oh, what? What? Okay, he said this. I wonder if he really means this. No, none yeah. of that. DMX was this guy, and um, it seems we we are. We are missing that today in the name of politically correctness. We're 100 percent, bro. 100 percent, man. I, I gravitate towards people like that. When I first got saved, I mean, the life, the lifestyle that I come from, first of all, I was a drug addict and I was just crazy, stupid, running around in the streets doing crazy yeah. things that drug addicts do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. so from 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 day one and then when I got saved, I was around. I was living in close quarters with with killers and gang members yeah. and and drug addicts and pimps and and all these people and so and and I gravitate towards these people yeah. because they don't give a crap about no <laughs> political no, correctness no, like gonna... you said they're going to tell you how it is and if they see that you're being real if they see hey this dude's real he may say some crazy stuff yeah. but at least he's real 
I respect that. And that's how I am. I gravitate towards people. Hey, I may not agree with you. Hey, but you're being you're being real and yeah. you're talking the real, bro. I respect that. Mm-hmm. Me too, man. But you're, and, but you're not being soft and sensitive at the same time. Exactly. You're, that's the thing. These people, they're strong people because they're letting you know what the deal is. I mean, yeah. I, 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 uh, I, I, I'm very close because I, I was raised in the hood. So I, I like the whole, sometimes this is why I gravitate towards the whole hip hop thing is because there's a lot of real people there. There's a lot of people that are men, manly men. They're going to tell you how they feel. They're going to tell you whatever it is. It's being overtaken now though, bro. We're losing that. You think so? Yeah, we're losing that. Every everybody in their mama in hip hop is is scared to tell the truth. They're not going to talk about homosexuality. Like back in nineties, what was Eminem saying? Oh yeah, some crazy stuff, bro. They don't say that stuff no more. Yeah, yeah, no, because they can't right They'll get well, canceled. And, and they, they get and they got the record labels. Uh, yeah. you know the 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 what the big brother of the record label saying, hey, you can't do that. You can't say this. Yeah. Not today. Not in twenty twenty one. Now continuing on here, are you doing this for clout? Is this just a political, a, a, some type of stunt that you're trying to pull up <laughs> with this black face to, it, it, to? It could be, it, you know, it you're, could you're be. Tapping I know into, it's gonna... into, into a little controversy on purpose. Are you doing that on purpose? Bro, I ain't going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and lie. I know that it's going to bring controversy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, for me to do this and not think that uh, it's going to happen, bro, yeah, it's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. But it was literally just a thought in my mind. How, how it was did you... literally. Oh, did, well, how, I, how did you? I how don't did... even. Came up. How yeah, that came up? I, I don't even know where I was at. I don't uh -huh. even know what I was doing uh -huh. at the time. But when I thought of it, I was like, brilliant. <laughs> that is brilliant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, we doing it. And I told my wife, I said, babe, I just had the greatest idea she, how I can be less white. And she was like, no, you cannot do that. Or what, no, what did she say? No, no. What? My wife was like, heck yeah. My wife was like, do it. Yo, that's do crazy, it. man. You got a warrior there, bro. She's like, oh, yo, we're going to get, she's like, yo, we're going to get the backlash. We're going to get this, but hey, go for it. I'm like, whoa, okay. All right. Bro, nobody can say anything about me that they've already said, man. Everybody's mm. already said everything. Mm. And so what was it for clout? Um, I don't know. I mean, controversy is good when it comes to, um, when it to, comes to, to getting the message out, yes, yes, to get the message, you yeah. got to kind of stir the pot a little bit. You know what I mean? You, you put up behind the scenes on Instagram on how did you achieve the color? Could you tell us that way? You know how how do you achieve this color? <laughs> well, when I went into the salon, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, first of all, I posted on Instagram like uh -huh. a week ago. I said I committed the cardinal sin uh -huh. as a Christian conservative uh, white male. The mm. cardinal sin. <laughs> is don't go get a spray tan because I see these guys <laughs> and even I'm going to call Donald Trump out. No, Donald, no, Trump, Donald Trump is the worst it. one. He is stop the worst it. one in history. <laughs> Yo, he's orange. He's orange everywhere and around his eyeballs, he's white. He is the worst one. The worst. Just but, you know, <laughs> but you know, it's funny because even Don Jr., make fun of his own father on Twitter. Yeah. He was like, yo, we got all the colors in our in our coalition. He was like, yo, we got black, we got brown, we even got orange. And he put a picture yeah. of his father on there, bro. Yeah. But man, we could do so that, though. That's the thing. We could do that because we, we still it. have funny. We understand yeah. it's just a joke, you know, and he, you know, he over, overdoes it. So you got th that color out of tan. What was the name of the 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 color, the tone? What was the specific? Oh, it was, it was, oh, what did I say it was, man? Something it was, bronze, uh, like bronze. bronze. It was four, it was four bronze bronze four or something because there was like one <laughs> two three four Which Shay, so one you got you the want? strongest one the and strong I'm like, bronze Yo, color. yeah what's the darkest one you have and she's looking at me like uh are you sure you want this i'm like yep <laughs> give me the darkest <laughs> and it was so funny bro because yeah. i walked in there wearing all white in my tennis gear, right? I saw that you look good with the tennis gear, but thank you, bro. But I tell you this though, you 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 gave a clue that you have probably never played tennis in your life because you had your Ow. basketball sneakers on. Well, you had your yeah, basketball those sneakers. Those were jump, man. Those were jump. Because I know you play hoop. I know you you hoop. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, uh, probably the only white sneakers that he had. Right. Yeah. Well, I have other ones, but I thought those would just look the best, man. But so I went in there wearing totally white, uh -huh. all white. 
And I walk <laughs> out wearing the chain and the grill and everything, bro. I was like, this is going to be hilarious. If you guys could see the look on these girls' faces when I walked out, bro, it was just priceless, man. But but were they were they scared? Did they look? How did they look? Did, did you tell no, them? Oh, they looked this, surprised. Did you? I walked out. When I walked out, mm -hmm. I, I wanted them to see me because mm -hmm. I wanted to see the look on their face. So I walked out, and I'm walking with a limp. Like, like uh, I'm a gangster now. So you went so oh, I'm walking out, and I, I went out. You went, so I, you went forward. All right, we'll see y'all later. I walked out. We'll see y'all later. You know, they all look yeah. at me. There's some people over here, and they just did a double take. Like, what the uh, That would have been nice to record. <laughs> that I would have loved yeah. to see that reaction. You didn't tell it was for a music it. video, though, right? No. So they didn't and know. They thought this was a white guy coming in. He just wanted to get a nice uh, tan, and look how he, 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 he walks out. Man, so these people are going to have probably a story behind this time that they saw this white guy go in there and come out bronze and they have no clue that it's for a music video and it's gonna be this is gonna be hunting them probably for the rest of their lives man <laughs> yeah i hope they don't see it because i could deal with some copyright issues because i tried to blur the front of the thing out but i couldn't figure it out for mm. some reason so let's just hope they don't see it <laughs> oh, okay okay you you can let me just give you this this pro tip you can blur it out on youtube if you yeah i tried to. it but it messed up the whole f it was ah. i don't know it was all jacked up for some reason i get you now to sum it all up the the famous <laughs> this is this is a famous question now is this the christian thing to do is this biblically aligned in your opinion here this is my thing man here's my thing i want to teach people how to overcome i want to teach people how to overcome words mm -hmm. overcome emotions mm -hmm. i want to teach people my message is always this and you know this overcome people's opinion about you mm -hmm. and so is it the christian thing to do i don't know but i did it you know what i'm saying yeah. and if anybody could learn anything from it Yeah. It's okay if you don't agree with it. Overcome that emotion that you have. Mm, Overcome okay. that. Man, just stop being so triggered by every little thing that you see. This is comedy, man. This is art. This is comedy. Let's bring com. Let's make comedy great again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, let's just laugh and have fun. If you don't like it, that's fine too. I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. That's in James, man. But I don't, hey, but I don't see Paul in the Bible doing stuff like that. So is it Christian? <laughs> I don't know, but I did it. The message is it bad? I might have to repent later your, for it. <laughs> yeah, but your your the reason you did it is is to set a certain message. It's, it's, it's not to harm anybody. Is the, the reason you did it is to help people, right? Overcome right. a certain situation. So, in my opinion, that's the Christian thing to do. Um, yeah. That the method. Some people might not agree with it, like you said, but I mean. What, what can you say? At the end of the day, God is the judge, man. Tyson, I just want to go back to like what you were saying, like inviting people into our space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I just want to go back to those days where we could all be, we could just be friends. It don't matter what color, don't matter, don't matter this and that. We could just, you know, and, and I'm a Christian, man. And so um, I just hope people overcome and, and come to Jesus, man. That's the, that's the only thing, man. And stop putting skin color, stop putting color over kingdom stop you know praising skin color like yeah. I, i'm saying that there is a very and it, is, it has surprised me to, to be honest there's a very huge progressive movement inside the church it's just yes. mind-blowing to be honest I'm, when i mean mind-blowing the more videos i see the more people i see the language i see being spoken in church this this worship of skin is total yeah. insanity is yeah. anti-biblical it's it's just crazy